Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation here. So in this case, we have to find the change in the pressure of FeS plus 5CO gas, which comes to equilibrium with FeCO5 gas, right? And I say that we have to find the change in pressure because I see that we have an ATM unit here, and always ATM, aka atmospheres, are pressure units. So now how are we going to find out what the change is? Well, it starts with what we're given. Now the FeCO5 increased by a factor of x. Now I say that it's increased because it's a positive x value, right? They didn't say that this was a negative. So positive means increasing. So if my product is increasing, what's going to happen to this reactant? Yeah, it's going to drop. If the products are increasing, the reactants have to decrease. It's like a give and take type system. That's all chemistry, right? So the, the 5CO would be minused by something, right? Minus means decreasing, plus means increasing in this case. But now what is this number that's going to go here? Well, that all comes from the coefficients. There was a 5 in front of the CO, and there was nothing in front of the FeCO5. Remember, that just means that there was one of them. The number in front of the x value is the coefficient value. So for here, this technically was a plus 1x, but 1x is the same thing as just saying plus x. So that's why you won't really see a 1 in front of an x value. But for all other numbers, like in this case 5, I do have to say this is minus 5x. Now we just got to figure out what the value is. Well, for the FeCO5, they said that the x was equal to 0.012. So if I know that x equals 0.012, and I'm minusing by 5 times that number, I could just do minus 5 times 0.012, and I'll get my ATM. So let's get to it. 5 times 0 0.012 is 0 0.06. 0 to add the dramatics of the sig figs. There was two sig figs here, so technically you should have two sig figs at the end. And this would be ATM. And this should be a negative value, signifying that this is decreasing by 0 0.06. Keep in mind that there is no such thing as a negative pressure. This just means that you decreased from your initial value by 0 0.06 ATM. We don't know the final number, and we don't know the equilibrium number. We just know that this dropped by this amount. I also want to add that we do not care about the solid, because remember, solids and liquids don't get included in the K value, the K expression, right? So there is no change in concentration for solid. The only thing that would decrease for the solid is the mass. And since that's not a concentration, we just don't pay attention to solids, all right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, you guys have been awesome throughout this whole process, so thank you so much. Let's keep working hard. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.